Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards. And today we're taking a look at a fairly recent uh, linear switch that is offered by Kinetic Labs. This is the Husky Linear. Uh, now this is a very interesting linear switch. It has a 63 and a half gram, they call it a symmetric, but looks like a dual stage gold plated spring. It, though it feels... To my finger, it feels a little lighter than that. It could be the two-stage because it kind of does feel like it gets heavier as you press down. Now, um, the stem has a little bit of wobble north to south and a little bit of wobble east to west, but nothing that's going to actually make too much of a difference. The housing is nice and tight, so these switches do not need to be filmed. Um, in fact, I think they're so tight of tolerances that filming might actually affect the uh, functioning of the switch. Um, now, they are made of a PC polymer mix for both the bottom and the top housing, and they have a long pull palm stem. But this is one of the first switches that I have encountered that actually sounds like tapping on a glass table when you bottom out. It is so sharp and defined bottom out like i said it gets heavier as you go down so you might not bottom out because of that dual stage spring so now i wasn't able to find any traces of uh, lubrication on here but it has absolutely no ping just the slightest amount of scratchiness, which I am sure will go away after use. They do have uh, the slot uh, for the RGB to come through, and they are five pin. Now, I went ahead and loaded these up on a TG67. That's also from Kinetic Labs, and that's what I'm going to do the sound test on today. Um, I've actually been using it for a few days, and despite me being a tactile fan, I... I like these and I can use them. I, I like the way that the way it is. I like the um, the cushioned bottom out, and I like how it sounds. It's not ah, like I said, it's glassy. I don't want to say marbly or creamy, but in the right keyboard, I think this would make a lot of people happy. Honestly, um, they do come in packs of eighteen and work out to 52 cents a switch. So they're a little bit more on the pricier side than the budget side, but I, I like them. I think they're pretty good and I'm, I've got a few extra, so I'll be loading them up on a different keyboard and I will probably come back to them here at some point, but I wanted to go ahead and just do a quick review and sound test for you guys today. If you guys got any questions about this switch, feel free to comment down below. I do my best to answer all comments in a timely manner. Anyway, I'll leave you with a stock sound test uh, with the TG67. And these are die sub TDT canvas, I believe. Um, and they're 1.6 millimeter thick. So they're nice and, and uh, they, they, they deliver a nice sound. Um, so I think it'll, it'll be somewhat pleasing. This is still stock. I haven't come back to mod it yet. Um, so I may in the future do a comparison with these switches with this stock and this mod as well. So I'll go ahead and leave you with a stock sound test of the Husky Linears from Kinetic Labs. And until the next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.